Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're going to be at Luke chapter 6, verse 22 and 23. Go quiet together. Let's look at that. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. Wow, this is a pretty intense word, isn't it? You're blessed when men hate you, when they exclude you, when they revile you, when they cast out your name as evil, for Jesus' sake. Sometimes we create our own troubles, we, and then we, we, get, we get pushback against it, and it's, it's because we haven't worked wisely, we haven't uh, been spirit-led. Instead, we've been uh, going in a direction against the grain that God wanted to go. Sometimes we cause our own troubles, right? So, but this tells us that if it's for the Son of Man's sake, if it's for Jesus' sake that we are hated, if it's for Jesus' sake that we are excluded, God is on your side. Don't let it wear you down. Rejoice and leap for joy. <laughs> I can tell you, I've been on the other end of this, and I can tell you in those times you don't exactly have the feeling of rejoicing and leaping for joy. And yet, this is the instruction of none other than our Lord, my Lord Jesus. And so, you know, I have to accept not my feeling, but I have to accept the instruction from Jesus. He's right and I'm wrong. You understand that? He's right and I'm wrong. So I accept his. He says, great is my reward in heaven. And he says, you know what? You've just, you've, the trouble is you've joined the club. Uh, what club did I join? I joined the club of the prophets, the prophets who were persecuted for being faithful. And if you are being faithful and you're being faithful with a truly loving spirit, and some of us have kind of an aggressive spirit and we maybe aren't so loving as we thought, but if we're truly being faithful and we have a loving spirit, a gentle spirit, a kind spirit, and we're being persecuted, take a deep breath, friend. God is on your side. You're on his team. You've joined the company of the prophets. And so there is what God wants. He wants a faithful work to be done. He's calling you and I to do a, a, a faithful work. You do the faithful work and leave the results with him and all will ultimately be well, but do it with kindness and try to have some gentleness there. You may say that person is not in a position that they, they deserve gentleness. Let's try gentleness anyway. Let the, let the Holy Spirit indict us, but mostly, friends, take, take the kind road and hope for the best. Some hearts are still reachable, even though you look at that person and you say, doesn't seem that way. God knows the heart and you don't. Let's pray. Father in heaven, please let every heart be reachable. Please use us. Help us to be faithful. Help us to do your will. Help us to approach others with kindness and gentleness. There are cases when your spirit will lead us to a stronger line and we help us to be available to you for that. But mostly, Lord, may we use the, these kinds of approaches and we're going to do a lot better with honey than with hammers. So, Lord, bless, we pray. Help us to be uh, your servants on your team. We ask that you'll help us to be encouraged when we feel discouraged and leap for joy when we feel like crawling under a rock and dying. Please, Lord, strengthen us through Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, you be strengthened today. It's not over yet. The Lord is coming, and you and I do a faithful work. He will come. He'll come in his time. But let's you and I be faithful. God bless you today.